Hello everyone and welcome to the Azus Pro Art webinar. Before we get started, I want to say a huge thank you to Wex for hosting this webinar and partnering with us on our Pro Art campaign and to Blackmagic Design for also partnering on the campaign which will be running until the end of 2020. Please make sure you stay until the end as we have a very exciting competition as part of the campaign that I would like to share with you. My name is Ben Salisbury. I'm the UK Country Product Manager for Monitor and will be your host for today. I have experience in both consumer and B2B markets and I'll be giving you a full overview of our Azus Pro Art Monitor range throughout this webinar. To start this webinar off, I wanted to explain what Pro Art is all about and what we are trying to achieve. Time and time again, I've seen in forums within the creative community asking for recommendations on what HDR professional monitors are the best for their own use and we have created our range based on the key elements needed from the community, such as hitting a specific color gamut or managing a workflow in HDR10, for example. As you can see on the slide, ProArt Vision started nine years ago with the sole purpose of delivering the best professional monitor with the best color accuracy available in the market. Whether you're a photographer, videographer, animator, architect or engineer, or simply have a passion for creativity and enjoy editing in your own time, our aim is to ensure you have the correct monitor for your scenario. To this day, we continue to push the boundaries with innovative design and features. For example, our PA32 high-end professional monitor was the first to feature Dolby Vision certified HDR. So as mentioned in the previous slide, here are a few of the usage scenarios we are aiming our ProArt monitors to be used within. The features and benefits of our range will definitely enhance the user experience within the above verticals and I will explain why later in the presentation. Okay, so here are the key topics I wanted to talk about today. I hope I can explain and give you some insight in when purchasing your next professional monitor. So today we'll be going through the display text and trends and the key elements in making a professional display. A Zeus Pro Art range, so a full overview of our product lineup. And like I said, at the end, we've got an exciting competition which has uh, been hosted in partnership with Wex and Blackmagic. So going into, the, going into the display text and trends. Okay, when talking about a professional display and what elements we should focus on, there are three axes. The first is the display panel, second is the hardware engine, and thirdly is the firmware that's driving the panel. We will start with the display panel. So the key function related to the panel itself is of course the color. Color gamuts are becoming wider and wider and it is important to ensure the correct color gamut covers what you need. So as per the above, 90% plus of the DCI-P3 color spectrum is a key fundamental for color accuracy within true 10-bit color depth if you need the display for precise editing. There are other industry standards such as Adobe RGB, sRGB, REC 709 and REC 2020. As per the graph above, the REC 2020 color spectrum covers the most and our high-end PA32 UCX-PK covers a massive 89% of this, which is a huge amount. But again, this is entirely dependent on the usage scenario, so double check what is required before your next purchase. Because HDR is now more widely used, the contrast ratio is required to achieve the million level and for brightness as well, HDR above 1000 nits is our recommendation to give a sufficiently lit panel when needed for professional use. For the resolution, it depends on your usage scenario of your content editing workflow. So full HD is sufficient for PC or website design and 4K or above is recommended for video production. We also have Quad HD panels available if you don't think Full HD is quite accurate enough. Secondly, we will touch on the key hardware engine spec. So for the hardware engine, the color again is always important and accuracy is key in the display. The big size 1D slash 3D lookup table for color accuracy which ProArt monitors have available is essential for checking this. Alongside the true 10-bit data processing, these two can drive the accuracy needed through the hardware engine. Connectivity also becomes relative to your productivity when you are dual screening or using features such as picture-in-picture picture or picture-by-picture, picture, as well as daisy chaining. Azus ProArt monitors have you covered. We have options that cover picture-in-picture picture or picture-by-picture, picture, as well as daisy chaining, 
We also have USB-C models available with power delivery to your laptop up to 70 watts for, for a one cable solution. And last but not least, let's cover the firmware, which is crucial to your professional display. When you have good hardware, of course you need to have firmware to match. For firmware driving, K-Zone is the 1000 Zone Plus dimming control feature from ASUS. Our higher end monitors, such as the PA32 UCX, have mini LED backlit technology with local zone dimming available. When you have this dimming control, of course you need to have the precise data analysis for, to monitor this. Preset mode firmware is also built into our panels, meaning they come pre-calibrated from the factory and can also be recalibrated, allowing the user to save the preset and use it again and again to ensure the calibration is always working to the same definitions. There are also HDR presets built into the monitor so you can switch between HDR formats for different scenarios. Firmware upgrades will also be available to all users from our ASUS support website as we are constantly upgrading our features to give you the best experience possible. Now on the screen you can see which of our monitors feature dynamic dimming. So PA32 UCX has 1152 zones and is our flagship model. The 27 inch version has 576 zones. We have a slightly lower end model, the PA32UC, which has 384 zones. And our 24 inch model has four zones as well. Okay, so here are the presets that come with the ASUS ProArt monitors covering different color spectrums and HDR formats. Depending on which monitor you choose, the relevant preset will be available. Now we're going to touch on ultra high contrast ratio display structure for LCD panels. Here you can see there are two families, single cell and dual cell when looking at direct backlight panels. The first one is single cell. This is the technology that ASUS ProArt monitors are based around. It means that all the black level or the gray level is controlled by the LED directly. There is another structure we call the dual cell where the dimming is controlled by the second panel. The issue is with single panels that was, pre, uh, was that viewing angle was limited because of the halo effect having only one cell layer. But in ASUS, we came up with a solution to counteract this. We call it off-axis contrast optimization. We have, and we have already implemented this in our PA32 UCX monitor. It reduced 80% of the halo effect while gaining seven times the contrast. So when you were looking at a wider viewing angle on a single cell, this technology will allow a similar result to a dual cell panel. The reason why this is so beneficial is that only having a single cell, this massively reduces the price point compared with dual cell, while not limiting the end result. As you can see here, yeah, minimized by Zeus, exclusive off-axis contrast optimization technology. Here are a few examples taken with the Zeus off-axis contrast optimization switched on. As you can see, the difference is extremely noticeable between the images, meaning a much more vibrant, crisper image to work on. Okay, in this slide we are talking about wide color gamuts focusing around Rec 2020, 20, Rec 2020 color space. We know in this industry it's not possible to achieve 100% in Rec 2020 color space. However, up to 95% is achievable. The problem is to achieve 95%, the only way is for it to come from the RGB laser lighting. This kind of lighting source is not good for the human eye to watch directly. So right now, the only way we can see this solution is via projection. The monitor solution we have is quantum dot technology. This technology uses blue LED to generate blue lighting to distribute the quantum dot and generate its peak color spectrum. As well as KSF, this one means a special phosphorus LED also can generate very good color. Both of them can achieve around 80 to 82% coverage in the Rec 2020 color space. There is also quantum dot OLED and printing OLED both of them can achieve 90%, which is very strong. And in ProArt displays, we have all three different kinds of display to offer you a wide color gamut. Okay, moving on to the HDR format. There are many different formats in this field. HDR10 ensures compatibility, compatibility with existing streaming video, 
and a growing list of HDR enabled games while the hybrid log gamma or HLG supports broadcast and satellite TV. Dolby Vision HDR brings extraordinary color, contrast and brightness for supported content, transforming the viewing experience. The ProArt range covers all three of these formats, again dependent on which model is chosen. HDR10 Plus and Technicolor HDR are other types of HDR formats, but are not as widely used and content is currently limited. So we have not started using these HDR formats in our range as of yet. Okay, so our ProArt range also offers HDR preview mode. So you can view in HDR throughout editing without finalizing your work. You will be able to review the HDR performance timely without worrying and in the Pro Art range, we have this preview mode, so it's very efficient when you're doing the edit. Pro Art monitors are factory pre-calibrated using a new three-scale process to guarantee industry-leading cut of fidelity. The display then undergoes stringent testing using ASUS advanced grayscale tracking technology to ensure smoother color gradations, better uniformity, and higher color accuracy. Your new ASUS ProArt monitor will come with calibration certification included in the box. So now I will touch on the color calibration in a bit more detail. For this, we have our own technology we call ASUS ProArt calibration. This is an out of the box solution. You can rewrite back your calibrated data into our monitor firmware directly so you can secure your color accuracy even after several years of usage. And because we have our own technology, we can co-work with Light Illusion and Carmen, two of the main calibration solution providers in the field. And of course, the HDR calibration is available as well. Here I would like to introduce our ProArt display calibration in a bit more detail so that you have an overview of what is available when calibrating your monitor. Here you can see the SDR and HDR format is selectable. You can also select which color gamut you want to calibrate in. Here it shows the DCI-P3 color gamut. You can even go as in-depth to brightness and color temperature, as well as the PQ or HLG curve via EOTF or electro-optical transfer function, which is the action of converting data to a particular brightness on the screen. Our built-in ProArt display calibration really does give you a full complete solution for color calibration in both SDR and HDR formats. Okay, now that we have all the techie stuff out of the way, let's dive into the product range and highlight a few of the key products. So this is our full lineup, starting from the PA248 and 278 entry level monitors moving through to the 27 and 24 AC, which are USB-C enabled monitors, the 32 inch 4K PA329C. We also have an ultra wide option, which is the PA34VC, uh, the PQ22UC, which is our portable monitor, perfect for on set, and then our flagship range, which is the, the 32UCX, 27UCX, and the PK option as well. Here is a brief overview of our ProArt range. We have 11 models currently available with more to launch in the coming months, ranging from consumer models, perfect for hobbyists who enjoy photo editing, video editing, social media streaming. The PA248QV and 278QV are perfect for this use. Then leading through to our prosumer range, giving the user better color accuracy and better features, perfect for graphic design work. And finally, we have our models that focus around editing suites, broadcasting and game development and offer a great solution for HDR workflow and color grading, such as the PA32UCX-PK or the PA27UCX-K. The first key model I wanted to highlight is our new PA248QV. This hits the entry level side of the spectrum, but it's still a great mod monitor for hobbyists who want a stylish monitor with great color accuracy, suitable for photo slash video editing and streaming. A few key points to note, it is an IPS panel with 100% coverage of the Rec. 709 color gamut, so it is extremely accurate for color. It also features our ProArt presets as mentioned earlier in the webinar, as well as our new ProArt palette to customize your edits. 
It has a range of connectivity for peripherals, as well as a full ergonomic design for the perfect viewing angle. Now the PA32 UCX and 27 UCX are our flagship models. The 32 inch has 1,152 zones local dimming, with the 27 inch coming in at 576 zones. This means it can give stronger and more accurate contrast when editing in HDR. Also, the monitors come standard out of the box with an X-Rite i1 calibrator, as well as a monitor hood if working in a lit room. The spec includes quantum dock technology, meaning we can achieve the majority of all the industry standard color spectrums, 99% DCI-P3, 99.5% of the Adoji RGB color spectrum, 100% sRGB and even 89% of the Rec 2020 color space. This can be set in HDR10, which is industry standard for video production, HLG, which is a new model of HDR that is being more widely used in broadcasting, and Dolby Vision standard for the movie and entertainment industry. Next, I just wanted to briefly touch on a couple of new models launching in December, the first of which being the PA279CV. This hits the prosumer vertical, meaning design work and higher end photo video editing can be achieved. It has a 4K resolution, as well as 100% of the Rec. 709 color space. It also has a range of connectivity, but is especially useful as it comes with USB-C with 65 watt power delivery for a one cable solution. Secondly, our latest flagship is on the horizon. This will be the world's first monitor to feature display HDR 1400, achieving 1600 nits of brightness on a 4K panel with a huge 120 Hertz variable refresh rate. This is the perfect monitor for game development or high rate image video production as editing with all of the key color and HDR features and playback with the 120 Hertz refresh rate can be achieved at the same time. This is really going to be a big game changer into this industry. Okay, so that is the tech specs covered and the range covered. So we are now coming to the end of the webinar. I can introduce the fun part, the competition. Here at Azus, we really want to engage with the creative community and thought it would be a great opportunity to open up a competition to get your creative juices flowing and see what you have to offer. Head on over to the Azus proart.com for Head on over to azus-proart.com for the full breakdown of what is it all about. We would love to see your involvement and you could be in with a chance of winning some amazing prizes. So the campaign will be split into two categories, first of which is the photography category. The theme for this category is Aura, so please interpret this theme in whichever way you like and enter to be in with a chance of winning the above prizes. So the first prize will win a 700 pound WEX voucher plus one of our PA34 VC monitors. Second prize, 400 pound voucher with one of our PA27 AC monitors. And the third prize, 200 pound WEX voucher with one of our PA248 QV monitors. Second category is for all of you videographers out there. The theme for this category is illumination. Again, we kept it vague to try and get you thinking we hope you can spend some time on creating an awesome video to share with us. And again, the above prizes are up for grabs. The first prize will be a Blackmagic Design Pocket Cinema Camera 4K and one of our PA34 VC monitors. Second prize being DaVinci Resolve Editor Keyboard with one of our PA27AC monitors. And the third prize is a copy of DaVinci Resolve Studio with one of our PA248 QV monitors. Not only that, but any entrance will be given a 10% voucher to spend on any ASUS ProArt monitor via WEX. This is valid up until the end of December. So please make sure you enter to be in with a chance of winning one of the prizes, as well as a 10% voucher to spend on WEX. And last but not least, please vote. As mentioned, we want our entrants to be recognized for their work, so please log in and vote. Even the voters are in with a chance of winning one of our PA248 QVs and also still get a 5% discount code to use on Wex's store for the ASUS Pro Art Monitor range. And that is that. Thank you very much for attending the webinar. I really hope I gave you a good insight into our product and even taught you a thing or two around some of the key specs to look out for when looking for a professional monitor. 
Thanks again and take care everyone. Thank you.